Hey guys, are you waiting on the Lord? Got a minute? So the real popular scripture whenever it comes to waiting on the Lord is in Isaiah 40. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The funny thing about this is if you go from the King James Version to the NIV Version, it says those that hope in the Lord. So this waiting isn't necessarily about sitting in one spot. Whenever I think about it, the other day whenever I went out for a meal, I had somebody wait on me. That person that was waiting on me was probably the busiest person in the whole restaurant. They were phenomenal. They did a great job waiting on me. So are you waiting on the Lord or are you just waiting? Are you just stuck in one spot or are you just unmotivated to move forward and so you're going to use the excuse of waiting on the Lord? Or are you spending your time serving him no matter what the cost is? You say, God, I don't know what the next steps are, but I know that if I serve you that you're going to take care of me. That's what it means to wait on the Lord. That's what it means to put your hope in the Lord. So I challenge you, if you're directionless, if you don't know what the next steps are, don't just sit and wait patiently. Wait on him, which means do something to serve God. Do something to put your heart towards him. And with that, you get the promise of new strength, which is awesome. Thanks for taking a minute.